It's the beginning of the last quote unquote work day of a long week. Woo! You're exhausted, tired, worn out from being intentional and wringing every last drop of productivity out of the week. Or so I hope so. Maybe you're thinking, I cannot wait for the weekend and TGIF, thank goodness it's Friday. Stop. Don't do that. It's time to finish strong. Get your mind right and finish. It's not about how you start the week, the month, or the year. True top performers know how to finish. So listen. Listen to this short clip and get your headspace leveled up and go finish strong. This is Finish Strong Fridays. All right, here's a, a, a question that I get a lot of the time. Is should I be working on being efficient or being effective? And look, I, I think that both are important, but just focusing on productivity and uh, efficiency is not going to get you where you need to go. If you read Naval Ravikant, if you read any of the, the great thinkers in the world, Charlie Munger, it's, it's mostly thinking about what is going to provide you the most significance over a long period of time. And so that's effectiveness, right? So that's working on the right thing, not doing the thing right. You need to do the thing right. Uh, you, you know, frankly, top performers just, just know that innately, or, you know, those were some skills that they developed early on in their careers. And, and it's like, Hey, I don't, I don't need to talk about these productivity hacks or, or whatever, uh, anymore. And, and the easiest one is just three words, simplify, 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 you know, cut out the noise. But at the end of the day, I wanted to talk through uh, this, this new thing called the significance equation, and it's how you multiply time. All credit goes to Rory Vin in that same podcast episode that I was mentioning previously, but you have to give yourself the emotional permission to work on things today that will provide you more time tomorrow. You know, most people treat time management logically, but it's actually an emotional conversation. It's our feelings. It's those underlying emotional drivers of guilt, anxiety that are really driving this conversation with yourself in regards to quote unquote time management. And look, you cannot manage time. Either way, it's going to pass and you're going to waste it or you're going to use it. Time doesn't wait for you. Okay. So you can't manage time. It's self-management that you can uh, have an impact on. So you, have, you get to choose what you spend your time on and how much you get out of that time. So I think that you need to change the way that, that folks are thinking about time management and focus on things that are bringing significance. And so everything that I'm focused on now is, hey, what can I spend time on that's going to apply leverage either through people technology or capital to my results because my goal is freedom my goal is time freedom my goal is financial freedom it's freedom to not have any obligations so to speak in regards to having to do something i want to choose what i want to do all the time so uh, i think that uh, this is this is some le- next level thinking which is important but uh, i've never heard it put this way And I want you guys to focus on this this week and this weekend. Give yourself the emotional permission to work on things today that will provide you more time tomorrow. Finish strong and go get some. Hey, compressors. If something you heard struck you, made you feel a little bit uncomfortable, good. Head on over to compressionpodcast.com. And then you can also subscribe wherever you listen to your podcast at. If you feel inclined to, please leave us a review. It's obviously helpful. But instead, I'm going to call you out today. I'm going to call you out and make sure that you do your part sharing this message by sharing it with one person that might need to hear what we talked about today. Be great. Nothing else pays.